This year, Tour de France starts in the charming landscapes of Italy. The second stage follows the 2020 World Championships route in Imola. After that, the cyclists tackle two more hills near Pianoro before making two loops up, the, up to the iconic Santuario Madonna di San Luca, ending in Bologna's historic center. Hi, I'm Esko. In this video, as usual, I'll share some of my favorite cycling routes with you. I started from Bologna, pedaling against the tour's direction toward Imola. The first 35 kilometers is a flat, straight road, ideal for warm-up or a time trial tempo. Imola, rich cultural history, but also racing culture, notably Formula One and, first and foremost, motorcycle races. Now we are on the 2020 World Championship route, which is also part of the 2024 Le Tour. It features a mix of terrains. Here Julian Alaphilippe famously won soloing stunningly to the finish on the World Championships. And after enjoying some quick and tasty panini in Imola, I headed back toward Bologna. Turn left to Pianoro. That loop is a favorite among cyclists due to the smooth, quiet roads. You can tailor this route to suit your needs and the classic basic loop is about 30 or 40 k long. From this intersection starts Bottechina di Giocca climb. Again, it's a very nice stretch of road, about 3 kilometers with a consistent 6% incline. It's manageable for most experienced cyclists, even for a big old guy like me. And this descent to Pianoro and the cool breeze, oh, they are refreshing. Thanks to the Tour de France route, I found a great additional loop after Pianoro, heading north back toward Bologna and turning east to, toward Monte Calvo. This uh, road to Monte Calvo is a category 3 climb, similar in length to Potechino di Zocca, but steeper. The road is well maintained and there is little traffic. The views from the top are worth the effort. Descending from Monte Calvo is fun, but here watch out for potholes and driveways. The profile of the road is similar on this side of the hill, so it's good for riding in both, both directions. It's time for a second pit stop in Bologna, in the large and beautiful Giardini Margherita Park. It's perfect for a morning walk or another panini. And then on the final challenge, the steep climb up to Santuario Madonna di San Luca on the city's edge, by the way also featured in Swift, and the yellow caravan of Latour will do it twice. I made a detailed video about this climb, click on the link in the top right corner to watch it. Bologna and its surroundings are excellent for cycling, only the traffic is heavy at times and it may take some time to adjust your riding to the local style. Whenever you visit this region, consider biking south to the lakes Brasimone and Lago di Subiana. More details are available via the link in the upper corner. So, on June 13th the tour will be here. Watch it on TV or, if you're lucky, see it live. Until next time, bye.